only on News 5 tonight. Typically a holiday is a day off, but on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, it's a call to action in communities across our country. And our Colette Bordelon spoke with the late Reverend's nephew, who says this holiday is different in the wake of 2020 and what we recently saw at our nation's capital. Wally says change can be messy more than 50 years since Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King's assassination. His nephew says his biggest message is strength through peace. Well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. When words transcend decades. And he taught this country how to protest. The boundaries of time are broken. That's the greatness of America, the right to protest for rights. But you got to do it nonviolently. Isaac Newton Ferris Jr. is Dr. King's nephew. Aside from the loss of life of George Floyd and the way that he lost his life, it was actually kind of gratifying because we began to see the, the country getting it. But this summer, it was something very different. Who's got my back? I got your back. Reverend Dr. Stephanie Rose Spaulding was at protests locally and around the country. As much as I was frustrated and angry that we are still having to do this work, I was also hopeful and inspired by the swarms of people who were coming out everywhere. Saying the civil rights movement never really ended. The work that we must do consistently every day until every system of oppression is dismantled. Dr. King's nephew grew concerned about any looting or violence at protests during the summer of 2020. Before the question about the violence kicked in, it was a moment that I wish my uncle had been here to see. And this year, they're honoring his uncle in a way they never have before. USA! In response to the riots at the U.S. Capitol. We can march on the Capitol. That's our house. Now, when we get there, we can't you know, break into the Capitol and, you know, beat up the police. Saying he'll always defend the right to peacefully protest, no matter the message. The Law Enforcement Transparency and Accountability Commission has their first town hall coming up this Thursday online from 6 to 8 in the evening. That's where people are invited to share their opinions on policing and public safety. They'll have another town hall in February, and I'll have all the details on where you can sign up on KOAA.com. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Colette Bordelon, News 5.